What's up YouTube friends? Good to have you along wherever you are in the world. Join us this week as we sail up the west coast of Lombok and we let you in on some news of our upcoming future. Enjoy! <laughs> Good morning everyone, welcome to another episode of Learning by Doing. Right now we're anchored close to this tiny little speck of land called Gilly Kedis. Uh, this one here right behind me. Yeah, we came in here last night and as you can see from these drone shots, pretty epic. Had a nice sunset and the island looks pretty cool. We're uh, on our way up to the north Gillies, Gilly Aya, Gilly Meno and Gilly Throwingen. Um, from the South Gillies, that's where we are now. So we're going to sail up there today. It's only about 26 miles, something like that. It'll be downwind, probably not much wind, so we'll probably just be ghosting along. So we'll try and sail the whole way, even if we go a bit slow. We've actually got a roast in the oven. We put a chicken roast in with vegetables, pumpkin, potatoes, uh, carrots, garlics, onions, things like that. And that'll be roasting away slowly while we're sailing. Hopefully we'll have the roast dinner with a couple of beers when we arrive, sunset. As you can see we're just drifting along wing on wing four knots we've only got six knots of wind so I mean there's six knots of apparent wind so it's probably eight knots of true wind yeah it's all right we're um, gonna get there eventually it's about yeah 20 something miles to go but we've got the rest of the day and it's definitely preferable to having the engine on and noise and smell Generally, if the boat speed goes under three knots, I'll put the engine on. That's sort of my, my limit of patience. Doesn't happen that often in this boat. We can normally get over two and a half knots. Um, if it stays like this, I can also put the spinnaker up. We'll probably get another a knot and a half with that. Let's see. You can smell the uh, chicken. How's the chicken doing? Uh, it's not ready. It starts to be a little bit golden, but I think it needs more. But it's uh, so nice inside with the hoven on. I don't know if it's because it's rainy season, but it's super hot and heavy weather all the time, and I was not really motivated to cook and stay inside with this heat inside. Cockpit knife goes in here. Good for opening Kalapa Muda. Beautiful. Super sweet one. Not some. It's, it's hot. 
on the right, it's too hot. Perfect. Super sweet, beautiful. Sweet, but the weather is hot. It's actually grumpy. She's super grumpy today. Don't know why. Monday. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> You're making me laugh. <laughs> I think I know the reason. It's because this is our last week sailing. Today is Monday and on Sunday we haul the boat out. Um, it'd be the first time in three years that I've hauled out. It definitely needs it. But it looks like we're going back to Europe for a few months. We haven't booked any tickets yet because Europe is a bit of a shit show at the moment. We were hoping in the next couple of weeks things will pan out. That um, I've been offered another contract by Volcom. Marie's looking for a job right now, but she really wants to see her family. And um, yeah, the Volcom contract is pretty is pretty lucrative. And. Yeah, you patrons and you people that have been supporting us, it's been been amazing and it's really, really helped us out this season. And in Indonesia, it's actually enough for our daily needs, fuel and food and whatnot. But in terms of a refit for the boat and, you know, repainting and old, a new mainsail and hauling out and all that sort of stuff, I've still got to go and earn my own money, which is fine and which is good. And... Uh, it seems like it's going to be possible with, with Volcom offering this contract. It might not be as good as always with you know COVID still being around, but we'll, we'll work that out and uh, come back to the boat with some money in the bank again. But anyway, I think that's what's uh, on Marie's mind today is uh, yeah, the uncertainty going back, you know, we've been pretty free here. We don't have to wear masks. We don't really even know COVID's a thing unless we go online or if we go to one of the bigger towns. But in all the small towns and islands around here, it's not affecting anybody and no one really knows about it even, you know. And we're going to go back to Europe and there's, you know, everyone's taking sides. It's either for or against, believe or not believe, mask or not mask, vaccination. And it's just... Uh, you know, people are losing friends and forming different relationships based on their belief on COVID and uh, we haven't had that here. So it'll be pretty scary getting thrust back into that, that atmosphere, which, which you're all probably living in right now, but we haven't had to have that. So yeah, it's a bit of a concern, but um, yeah, it is what it is and I'm sure we'll figure it out. Is that right? Yeah. It's good? Yeah, friend sucks. I don't want to be in lockdown. Along the west coast of Lombok, there's quite a few big resort sort of towns or like big big resorts that have been built into the side of the hills there's one sort of famous town called Sengigi that's got a fair few big well-known resorts in it but in general Lombok has just got tourism in small groups and in between it's a very poor small little local villages and really no western influence at all it's a uh, Muslim, completely Muslim in Lombok as opposed to across the strait Bali and uh, so yeah very very different culture here than in Bali and yeah the tourism as well the, the people probably during COVID haven't been as affected because they're mostly all farmers here there's not that many involved in the tourism industry and it, as opposed to Bali where it's you know mostly all tourism there.
That was a stressful flight. First sailing video with this little Mavic Air. Yeah, you saw the boat got overpowered and rounded up completely. Had to like drop the controller and get the boat back under control. Yeah, a gust of wind came and a wave came at the same time and just flicked the boat right around. Well, we're nearly back in Gilead. Pretty, pretty okay sail. Started off pretty light winds, and then uh, yeah, it's been a road. It's been downwind the whole way, wing on wing for a while, and then uh, yeah, just just cruising along. I think the current's been with us because we've been doing sort of sevens, eights without really feeling like it. You know, sometimes you're ripping through the water, and it really feels like you're going fast. And you look, you look at the speed, and you're doing four knots, and other times, like today, it sort of feels like you're not really going fast and then you think you're doing four knots and you look at the thing and you're doing eight knots. So. Current with you is always good though. Definitely uh, makes for a smoother ride. Alright, we're here in Gilly Air now, this is the North Gillies, the boat's on a mooring, it's pretty windy out here, oh look, there's a guy just coming out on this kite surf board thing. Anyway, we're uh, having our roast chicken dinner now on the beach. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. It's probably pretty windy now, but uh, yeah, pretty cool day we had. Possibly our last sail, maybe not, you never know. Thanks again, patrons. You guys are awesome. A couple of new ones, you know who you are. Thank you very much. I've got you listed here at the end. Legends, so good. See you next week. We'll be hauling out. I think the next video will be our haul out video. It's gonna take place at night. And this place has never done a haul out at night. Um, I'll tell you more about that next time, but it's probably going to be pretty interesting. We'll see how that goes. Bye-bye.